Loving so hard right here on Trax FM. You're with Kevin and Mary. Today is the 2nd of September. Do you know what that means, Mary? It means that it's the second day that you should be segregating the waste that you have at home because we want to recycle. We want to make sure that Malaysia is a beautiful place and it remains that way. Yeah, because a lot of people are wondering, is this going to be too complicated for me? Why is it so difficult? Why are there so many bins? Where should I throw this? Why do I even want to recycle? And the good news is it's not going to be difficult. Why? Because we ask you to let us know if you've been doing this for a while or if you've recently started. We do know somebody who's been doing this for a while and she happens to be a singer, she happens to be an actress, a very famous local celebrity who's also gorgeous. Yes, yeah. Sasha Seiden. That is correct. We're going to give her a call right now. Morning, Sasha. Good morning. Thank you so much for joining us here today. No problem. Now, Sasha, you have been recycling, you have been separating your trash and making sure that you do not throw out things where they're not supposed to be left for how many years now? I would say good 10 years. 10 years? Yeah, wow. because I started off doing it when I was back in university, when I was in England. And um, what they do in England is that they have, they actually have the, the people that come and they take it from your house, but it's like alternate uh, days. Mm-hmm. Uh, I mean, alternate weeks, sorry. So um, it was much easier in England. Um, here it's a little bit more of an effort because we have to go to the recycling center. Mm-hmm. But um, I think because I was so used to doing it when I was back in university that now I can't put plastic or, or aluminium or glass with my other trash. I just, it's like my conscience speaks to me it's like don't do it separate it mm-hmm. don't do it and I can't I, I just can't I can't walk away from from the bin if I've thrown it in like with the regular trash I think it's so. a lot to do with habit isn't it yeah it's, as long as you make that into a habit it shouldn't be it shouldn't be it shouldn't be a big problem oh, for you to practice yeah. that from time to time yeah and I think once I found a recycling place that's close to me here, where I live, it was so much easier. Mm. Um, there are not a lot of recycling places you can go to. I mean, the, the, when you go to the shopping mall, they have like um, the, the dustbins that separate the uh, stuff that you want to recycle. Mm-hmm. For me, what I do is, and my mom is over, my mom does it as well, so it's a family Aww. thing. Um, we go like maybe once a month with like bags and bags of plastic glass and 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 tin you know like we have cat food that we with tins of cat food that we have so many cats that we have to put that aside as well we wash the tins and all that Mm -hmm. and newspaper of course and so when we go it's like a whole load at the same time so we put it aside um and then once um it gets too full i guess that's that's when we go um, to the extent that um, the place I go to recently, they don't take glass for some reason. So for a while, I was stuck with glass oh. until I found somewhere else. It's about like a uh, half an hour drive from where I am. But, you know, I just, like, again, it's like I can't put glass with other rubbish. Yeah. Um, so I, I just coincidentally found this other recycling place that takes glass. So... Uh, I do that as well now. Sasha, do you think that this will be a shock for a lot of, let's say, your friends or your other family members who do not have the habit of recycling or separating their trash? Because, you know, not all plastic bottles can be recycled. You sort of mm-hmm. need to be educated on which plastic bottles and where you spot the the numbers mm-hmm. at the bottle mm-hmm. of the bottle, the bottom mm-hmm. of the bottle. Mm-hmm. And uh, also, you should not mix up your aluminums, for example, exactly, with your yeah. uh, plastic cans or with your food. Because the idea behind this is so that the authorities have an easier time uh, separating your your trash once they collect it from you, it's easier for them to recycle them and make them into mm. something more useful. But do mm. you think this will be a shock for a lot of Malaysians who just are used to throwing everything into one giant green or black bag and throwing mm. that outside of their house? Mm. I think, um, uh, like you said, it's it's actually a, a habit that needs to be formed. So sometimes you can, if you're not sure, just take the the plastic or glass, I mean glass is recyclable, uh, plastic or aluminum tin, mm-hmm. if you're not sure whether it can be recycled, just take it to the recycling place and they will tell you. Mm-hmm. Um, so what I do is, I take if whatever plastic I have, I just put it together 
and I take it to my recycling center and sometimes they will tell me, okay, this can't be recycled. This mm. is not, I'm, and I'm like, oh, okay. So I just know from then on not to put that in my uh, things for plastic or whatever f after that. So that's the best that you can do. It's definitely it, a learning process, yeah, a curve. Yeah. Whether you, you, you pick it up quickly or it becomes a gradual habit, there is mm. no bad outcome when it comes to recycling and separating your trash yeah. and that's the whole point. Yeah. Yes. I think it might you might have to make a little bit of effort in the sense that um, your bottles after you've you've finished with drinking from your bottles you have to at least rinse it out. I mean, that's what I do because I feel bad that you know because it it might smell or whatever. So I rinse out the bottles and obviously like my my tin cans. cat food tin. You know it's going to stink if you don't wash it out, rinse it out a bit. Mm -hmm. But um, you know it's you gotta think it's for our kids for the future generation. You know it might not seem like a big deal now but I think it makes such it does make such a big difference uh, once you start doing it and then I'm, my my son enjoys the whole process as well mm -hmm. he goes to me to the recycling place and we sort everything out we separate everything once we're there and you know I try to tell him you know this is you know for the future and, yeah and, you know, it's like that saying this. one small effort from mankind one big leap in civilization or something like that mm -hmm. because we yeah. are we are trying to create a world for our future selves as well as for our future loved ones so that's why this is important to us either way thank you very much sasha for sharing this with us today the lovely Sasha Saidin joining us this morning on the A Team. She's been recycling for a while. I think that's really, really commendable and really lovely at the same time. Yeah. Can you imagine having to do it every day and you come to Malaysia and you're like, oh, it's not really practiced here. Exactly. But now it's being enforced, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, nobody's going to be penalized, but right. it's always great to spend. You have nine months to get used to it. Yep. And if you have been doing it for a while, it's, I think, maybe nice to educate others on how to do it. You can and always, of course, find out more about Sasha Sidin on Instagram. She's so active on Instagram. It's adorable. Just look for Sasha Sidin. S A S H A S A I D I N. And you'll find her. You can't miss her. Yeah, she's really blonde, isn't really she? Really blonde and so pretty Huge and eyes. so tall. And I just found out that she's um, she's old Malaysian as well as she, she grew up in the UK or mm -hmm. something. So when we come back, maybe we're going to talk more about this. In the meantime, Daft Punk on Tracks FM. Good morning.